All right, today I'm heading over to a very lovely park here in London. Uh, now, this, there's quite a few parks in London, but there are eight royal parks. Uh, and if you're not familiar with what that is, that is land that once belonged to the monarchy and is now designated as a public park. So the one I'm heading over to is actually right on the boundary of two that touch, uh, Kensington Gardens and Hyde Park. Now, where they come together, uh, it's not often clear on a map. Sometimes it looks like one big, large park. And uh, they happen to feature over here called the Italian Garden. But while I'm walking down here, let me tell you how to get down here. Now, if you look over here, this is Lancaster Gate Tube Station. So obviously you can take the tube here, or you can take bus 148 or 94. Both of them pass by on this road, which is Bayswater just around the corner from this tube station on that side is uh, bus 274 and 46 so you've got options uh, you want to come over here that way or you can just walk over here uh, so if you're looking at it on a map it's the northern part of uh, Hyde Park and Kensington Garden right in the center where they meet and this is Lancaster Gate so we'll go over here through the gate And as you enter, you'll see some restroom facilities on the left there. And uh, straight ahead is the Italian Gardens. Now this was uh, built at the request of Prince Albert for Queen Victoria. Now this was done in the 1860s. So this is uh, roughly 150 years old at the time of this filming. It always draws a crowd, even on a cloudy, cold winter day like today. Very good spot to get some good pictures and hang out and watch the people and the birds. I wish there are plenty of both. Now, originally, this was all one big piece of land that belonged to the church and was acquired by King Henry VIII nearly 500 years ago. So it's coming up on 500 years of uh, usage. Now it was originally a uh, crown property and this was uh, Henry VIII's hunting grounds. And, uh, I'm, I'm guessing at that point you probably couldn't come over here without expressed permission from the king. Now if you keep going down that pathway there you'll wind up at Kensington Palace which uh, quite famous as being the home of Princess Diana when she passed away. Her sons William and Harry lived there at this time uh, in apartments behind the actual facility that you can tour. And on this side we have the Italian gardens. Now there's uh, four large basins here of water and then one circular uh, basin or pool. Uh, that's got a, a fountain in it as well. A lot of it's made up of, uh, looks like marble and uh, another stone. Probably Portland stone. That's a winter day today, but it, uh, this is a great place to see in the summertime when it's warm. And, uh, like I was saying earlier, it's, there's always a lot of people out here. So if you want really good pictures, the best time to do that is, especially in the summertime, it gets light so early. Uh, in the summer months, it, it'll it'll be light at 4.30 a.m. If you can be out here at 5 a.m., uh, you can get some great pictures with no people in them. Uh, but you have to get up really early to do that. You'll often see uh, ducks and, and swans other water birds here in the taking advantage of the uh, the fountain uh, the basin here pan around here get a shot of the, the entrance as it appears from the fountain area there with uh, seats if you want to 
take it easy and get some shade during the summer. Despite what you might hear and see on this video, it, it does actually get hot and sunny here at times. Summer 2018 was exceptionally dry and hot. I'm sure that won't be the last. If you need some shade, you can step in here or uh, there's often uh, areas where you can hang out under a shade tree on the embankment there to the right. Up in that area. Take a look over here. Now these birds are so accustomed to seeing tourists and locals alike all the time that they're not, as, they're not afraid of people. <laughs> you have to watch out. Some people will do this and they will get, they'll get bit. <laughs> well, sometimes you get lucky and they won't, but uh, they will nip at you from time to time if you uh, make a wrong move or they feel threatened. This one seems to be okay. They have a lot of tourists feed them too, so they, you hold your hand out there. They're thinking you're about to give them food. And here's the fountain in the center. And on the very end of the, uh, the water garden here, there's a, there's a nice feature. There's one looking upon the water. Now, this body of water is uh, called the Serpentine. And it's almost the dividing line between Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens, if you look at it on a map. You get a lot of days that look like this now. London has a reputation for being rainy. It, it does rain quite a bit here, but often it doesn't last very long at, at any one shot, so don't let that deter you from coming. It's, uh, it's not as bad as they make it out to be sometimes. Today it's, uh, it's not, not raining at the moment, but it looks rainy. If you look, you can see the uh, PP1866, that's the Paddington Parish Boundary Stone. I believe that's what that is. 1866. on the water there. Off to the right there, I uh, didn't really see it very well in this video, but there's a good setting area, and there's a statue of uh, Peter Pan, the author J.M. Barry uh, that wrote Peter Pan. He used to come over here quite a bit. His house was near the entrance where we came in on Bayswater Street. And, uh, that's over there. Up ahead, uh, you'll see a, a statue there uh, with a bird on top at the moment. Uh, it just says Jenner on the front. This is Dr. Jenner. He uh, was credited for creating the smallpox vaccine. Uh, now this statue was unveiled by uh, Prince Albert in 1862 in Trafalgar Square, and they moved it uh, sometime after that. I, I don't know when exactly, but it was originally in Trafalgar Square, and now it's, it's actually here in the Italian Garden in Kensington Gardens. And off to your right, you'll see a, a small hill. Uh, that is very popular in the summertime where people hang out and get some sun. And a little further up is uh, larger trees where you can get some shade if that's what you're looking for.
Now you'll see these, they line the perimeter of the garden. But this one in particular is the, the best one. Uh, it's clear definition of everything on it. I'm guessing the original one was broken and this is a, a newer one. All of the rest of them are weather worn and you can barely make out the face. That's a, that's a really clear example of those. I've got a sign up here if you want to learn more about uh, the Italian garden. If you pause the video you might be able to read that. Or you can look it up on Google. Google has everything. Alright, let me show you where the, uh, the demarcation point is for the, the park boundary here. If you go out this way, you take, take a right up that hill. Alright, that fence and that gate right there, that's the, uh, that's the edge of Kensington Gardens. So once you go on further, that's Hyde Park. So you can see this thing's right on the, the boundary of each. Off to the right here. We've got some good areas uh, for parties hanging out. And uh, there's a children's playground there. Good areas to walk the dog if you have one. Usually in the spring and summer they have a good display of flowers and stuff up here. This is a neat little cottage that's right at the uh, the entrance. It's got a classic look to it. Very neat. A little bit about the park itself. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, come out, take a look at it. Hyde Park is, is uh, fabulous as well. Kensington Gardens is very nice. And this, uh, this is the area on the north end by Bayswater Street, which you see right there. And, uh, easy to get to, and plenty of room for everybody, even on a crowded day. So give it, give it a shout and come on out, look at it. Uh, thanks for watching the video.